Ladies and gentlemen, this is a little hot. Ladies and gentlemen, would you all please stand for the playing of Pop and Circumstance? Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem that will be up on the Jumbotron. It's a little fun to be able to watch myself up there, slightly disconcerting if I'm honest. Um, we're going to hear the singing of the national anthem by Mr. Matthew Juline. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, you may be seated. So ladies and gentlemen, it's my job now to welcome you to the graduation for the class of 2020 of FHN. Welcome to this ceremony. Uh, if I'm totally honest, uh, until the moment that you, that you all started to walk through this door, then this moment was a little bit surreal. It was hard to really wrap my head around what this is going to look like. But when you started to stream in there and I started to see some of your faces, um, it made me realize how much I've missed you guys. It's, I'm so grateful that you're here. Thank you. Um, so as a, a part of a, what the welcome here, I do want to say thank you to all of the people who helped to make this possible. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank our school board members who are here, as well as our superintendent, Dr. Nathan Hoven. Uh, it is their insight that has helped to make today possible. I'd also like to thank the administrative team who's helped to plan this and make this a reality. And specifically, I'd like to say thank you to Ms. Ray Ann Noah, uh, my administrative assistant. Many of you know uh, Ms. Ray Ann, and, and she is one of the most wonderful people on earth. Um, I'd also like to say thank you to all of you parents, uh, because this semester, probably more than any other semester, and, and I don't know how long, then you have played an integral part in helping to make sure that your students moved through this process and that they were here today. So thank you all very much, not just for this semester, but for the last 13 years. The, the love and support you've given your kids is evident in everything they do, and I'm very, very proud of them. And last but not least, graduates, I would like to thank you. Um, I've alluded to this, I will allude to this, I should say, in my speech here in just a little bit, uh, but I can't tell you the number of times when one of you or a few of you or all of you have in some way reached out and helped to encourage me uh, and help me to move towards this moment because this has not been an easy journey for anyone, and I am deeply grateful for each and every one of you. So thank you to you as well.
And now, without any further ado, I'd like to turn this over to the board address, which, again, you will see up on the, uh, the Jumbotron. Hello, class of 2020. You finally made it to graduation. I'm your board president, Mary Lang. And I'm Vice President Janet Stiglitz. I'm Treasurer Patrick Lang. I'm Director Mike Hain. I'm Director Chad Lang. I'm Director Michelle Walker. And I'm Director Doug Ziegemeyer. And, and we are your Francis Powell Board of Education. And after 13 years of school, you had better not be Board of Education. Because, as it says on the plaque, you are lifelong learners prepared for the future. As graduates in the 21st century, you will all need to continue your learning in order to succeed in our rapidly changing world. While that means college for most of you, others will be getting advanced certificates, going to a trade school, or entering the military. Learning takes many different forms. And we've certainly seen that recently as our students and our staff rose to the challenge of online learning. Kudos to you and your teachers. As much as you've learned in the last 12 and a half years, just think. Think about what you've learned in the last four months. It is possible to take an AP Psychology class in your pajamas. Most Zoom meetings do look like an episode of The Brady Bunch. Human interaction is important to your emotional well-being. You don't really have to shower every day. Faster internet service should be a priority in my house. It's not right to hoard food or toilet paper. There really are meetings that you can accomplish just with an email or a text. Yes, I really do miss sports that much. And over the last four months, everyone has learned what an important role our teachers play and what an important role public schools have in our community. And if there's anything we learned from 2020, it's that the future is more unpredictable than ever. Life will throw you curveballs, but if you want to play in the big leagues, you have to learn how to hit the curve. But times of great turmoil also present times of great opportunity for change. Maybe more of us can work virtually from home in the future. Maybe we can continue to reduce our carbon footprint and dependence on fossil fuels. Maybe heightened awareness of good hand washing and personal hygiene will help us all stay healthier. Maybe more of us will realize that racism, inequality, and violence are unacceptable, period. We are truly sorry your senior year didn't finish as planned. But maybe we learned not to take so much for granted. And maybe we learned to appreciate the little things just a little bit more. The sun shines, the grass grows, and the wind blows. Even during a global pandemic and a stay-at-home order. In an uncertain world, one thing is for certain, class of 2020. You will never forget your senior year, and we won't either. So ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for uh, music sung by Matthew Julian. And Matthew, um, I'm looking for Matthew out there in the crowd, and oh, there he is, he's waving. Um, truth be told, it is a little bit harder to tell who some of you are with your masks on. Fair's fair. Um, but Matthew does an incredible job with this, and I do want to say thank you to him as well. So ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Julian with The Mystery of Your Gift. A single note passes out of the ashes a flickering ember begins it's the courage to turn when the pages have burned and your story now seems at an end seasons stay and seasons go sending your memories adrift it's the beautiful longing, embrace the unknown, that's the mystery of your gift. And the echoes of your melody will always live in these walls. And the lessons that you gave to me before you can fly, you must fall. It's the beautiful longing, 
Embrace the unknown, that's the mystery of your gift. There's a voice in the shadow calling for more. There's a rhythm that beats from within. Lending your voice to the warmth of the song There's a strength in the choir of one Pure is the voice that sees the place Where the weight of your past may now lift It's the beautiful longing Embrace the unknown, that's the mystery of your gift. And the echoes of your melodies will always live in these walls. And the lessons that you gave to me before you can fly, you must fall. So sing higher and higher, a thousand new voices ring through. If you sing out of the fire, the courage you need comes from you. of your melody will always live in these walls and the lessons that you gave to me before you can fly you must fall it's the beautiful longing embrace the unknown that's the mystery of your gift it's the beautiful longing embrace the unknown that's the mystery of your gift That was absolutely incredible. Well done, sir. So I, this is a little bit of a strange format here because I feel like I just sort of introduce one video and then step aside and move into a next video and then step aside. Uh, but that frankly is where we are. Um, the one thing that I can tell you that is that uh, there is a little bit of a sense of relief because at this point I do know exactly what's going to happen during the speeches and that's not always the case. And sometimes you folks are a little bit terrifying when you have a mic. So next up, we have uh, Suhas Andavula. And Suhas, this is the, the right to speak at a graduation is something that's actually pretty competitive. And we didn't know exactly what that would look like, but we put together a process. Kristen Jobjian put together a process whereby uh, we were able to do some Zoom uh, tryouts. And that was really a pretty remarkable process. We got to get a sense of, of really what things were going to look like. Uh, and Suhas did an absolutely incredible job with this speech. So. I'm going to turn this over to him, and uh, let's hear what your classmate has to say. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure some of you are aware of who I am, but for the vast majority of those who don't, hey, I'm Sue Haas. We used to go to high school together. Today is a momentous day, a day, as the great Michael Scott once put it, will live in famously, the day of your graduation. Congratulations, class of 2020. We made it. Give yourselves a round of applause. You deserve it. Did you do it? I'm assuming you did it. Finally, we can bid four years 
of stress a Jew. It seems like only yesterday, when three years ago, we were innocent, wide-eyed half-children wandering the halls of Francis Howell North, only to be trampled by a stampede of hundreds of high school students in the butterfly hallway. During the good old days of freshman year, we transitioned from the rather childish environment of middle school to the more serious environment of high school. As the phrase, no, no, 90, was drilled into our brains, we achieved temporary, mind you, temporary academic greatness while we spun fidget spinners in our classrooms. During our sophomore year, we were faced with harder classes and the ominous specter of ACT testing. We were also faced with more responsibility. We were still kids, but we were slowly maturing. Then junior year proved that school could actually be more stressful. It showed us that along with harder classes, we had to spend hours upon hours of studying and making a last attempt to look good for colleges. It also meant that we had to spend way too many nights and pull way too many all-nighters. Obviously, we were finally getting a taste of the pressures of the real world. And when senior year finally came around, we were already numb. We filled out our college applications and experienced an onslaught of senioritis. And just when we were about to finish out the semester and finally spend time with our friends, we got Ivan Drago sucker punched in the face by a freaking pandemic, which left us quarantined in our homes for the rest of senior year, which really isn't the best way to spend your senior year or three months of your life. And while I may sound like I'm highlighting all the bad parts, our four years brought about the best in us. A lot of us learned to manage our time. We made lifelong friends. We learned to drive. We got our first job. We cast our first ballot. Most importantly, we grew into adults. Suffice it to say, we've aged like fine wine, which we still can't drink yet, but that's okay. We'll get there. But here we are. After four years, our graduation is a rite of passage. We're going to be faced with more responsibility now. The torch has been handed over to us. Be proud of yourselves, each and every one of you. Now, as we reach the end of our road here, we are faced with many more challenges in the future. However, the class of 2020, I think, has a special advantage. No other class has had to face a pandemic like us. And when you think about it, we came into this world post 9-11. So it's only fitting that we graduate in the midst of a pandemic. If anything, it demonstrates our ability to overcome the odds. It was Muhammad Ali who said, suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. I truly believe that this class will be the class that changes the world. I look around this room slash camera, the next innovators, actors, artists, politicians, philanthropists, engineers. Maybe one of us will find the cure for cancer. Maybe one of us will finally find life on other planets. Or perhaps one of us will finally solve the equation for world peace. One thing is certain, however. Whether you are continuing your education at a university, community college, military academy, or tech school, or you're joining the workforce, or honorably serving your nation in our armed forces, you are all destined for greatness. However challenging you found these past three years to be, just know that a measure of a person is not defined by their achievements, rather by the adversity that they face, that is the prerequisite for their success. Because we have faced the most, it is us who will go on to become the greatest. While it is a time of celebration, it is also a time of reflection, so that we can correct the mistakes of the past in order to ensure a better future for not just ourselves, but for future generations. It is time to focus on the road ahead. Wherever your journey leads you, take the lessons you have learned so that you can facilitate change on a universal level. Seniors, it has been an extraordinary four years with all of you. The future of the human race will be authored by the legacy of the class of 2020. So the only thing to do is to grab a pen and paper and get to writing. Farewell, Knights of Francis Howell North, 
and Godspeed. Well done, Suhas. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, here in just a minute, I'm going to going to get rolling here with my specific commencement address, but I realized as, I, as we had a few moments watching these videos that I, I missed something uh, in the welcome. Uh, I went through a list of people and said some thank yous, but there's a group of people that I forgot, and frankly, it's the group of people I probably least should have forgotten. Uh, there are, many of them can't be here today, but there are a group of about 110 teachers who for the last four years have absolutely poured themselves into you. And in the moments and in the, the hours when they, we realized that we were going to have to help you move across this stage remotely, they doubled down and did more than we ever thought possible. So ladies and gentlemen, for all of those teachers who are out there watching this online, would you please say thank you? So this is the, I think this is the 12th time I've done a graduation ceremony, and every year the, the 10 most terrifying moments of my career uh, take place when I get to speak to a few thousand people. And this year, of course, the pandemic has robbed many people of many, many moments of absolute joy and wonder. Uh, but fortunately, it's left the next 10 minutes fully in terrifying tact. So here we go. And, and frankly, this, this is, has been a strange speech to prepare for. What can I say to a class who simultaneously has lost so much, but also stands in a moment of absolute triumph? When I look across this arena and think of those of you who can't be here today, I, I can't tell you how proud I am of each and every one of you. But I also know that there is no one in this building or watching online who hasn't experienced loss of some kind. From plans to memories to loved ones, we have all lost something in these last few months. Neither congratulations for what you have achieved nor condolences for what you've lost really seem like quite enough. Yet here we are, as a community, standing together, and because of the people surrounding us now, we all know that we're still human, and that is what brings me great hope. You, you all, bring me tremendous hope, just like Suhas said. On March 12th, a Thursday, we all left school for spring break, and. We simply haven't been back since. And as an educator, I firmly believe that the best place, or one of the best places for students to learn is in a classroom under the supervision of a teacher. And yet, and you know that, that we at North have some of the best teachers in the business. I can also acknowledge, though, that some of the greatest life lessons I've ever learned, I learned outside classroom walls. So school may have stopped 108 days ago. I did the math. 108 days since we last were together. It's kind of remarkable. But that doesn't mean we stopped learning. In fact, we've learned quite a lot since then. For instance, we've learned that you're only visible, if you're only visible from the chest up, dress codes can become pretty sketchy pretty fast. We've learned that hairdressers have really, really hard jobs and that most of us have absolutely no business trying to do them. We've learned what we think of pandemics and where pandemics can go and what the pandemics can do when they get there. But we've also learned that our places of worship, our restaurants, and our schools have always been about so much more than prayer, food, and learning. We can pray, eat, and learn on our own. What makes each of those places so valuable are not the things we do in them, but the people we connect with while we're there. And those connections are indeed what makes us feel human. We've learned that our best laid plans are little more than tiny prayers to the future, and that the future is under no obligation to give us the answers we're hoping for. But with that, we've also learned, I've learned, that even though we don't always get the answers we want, our community still stands together and reconnects us and makes us feel human again. And in again, we can, in that we can take great hope. At North, we've spoken many times about the concept of Ubuntu, that people become human through their relationships with other people. And while that has always been true, I'm not sure that it's ever been more important than it is now. If there's only one thing that you take from our final semester together apart, let it be Ubuntu. 
as we've moved through isolation and quarantine to reopening and becoming acquainted with a new way of life, and now facing the realization that this struggle really and truly is far from over, I found myself an ex experiencing an incredible gamut of emotions, and I suspect, suspect many of you have as well. Time and time again, as I've struggled with what has lifted me up, what has calmed me, what has reconnected me with reality and with what I need to do next, has been the people who surround me. They have made me human. And I believe and hope that your experience has been the same. My own family often have been the people who have reconnected me, but many times the community that surrounds me, that surround us in this room, have played that role as well. Some of you have parents, as parents, have reached out to extend words of encouragement. Fellow administrators have given me a place to vent my concerns and my frustrations. My administrative assistant, Rayanne, has reassured me so often I can't even count. Teachers' unrelenting commitment to their students when it is so difficult has inspired me time and time again. In students, in Zoom calls, as I said earlier, so many times your faces have made me smile when I really, really needed to smile. When I have needed it most, the people surrounded me have reminded me of what it means to be human, and that is Ubuntu. I'm telling you this not to sing the praises of the community we built together or to remind you of what we've done for one another, but to tell you how important it is for you to build a community for yourself, whatever, wherever your life takes you, and in joy and pain and triumph and struggle, the people surrounding you are exactly what will make you human and will help to determine the kind of human you become. Beyond the personal challenges we all face as we move into adulthood, and I assure you there are plenty of challenges, the class of 2020 is stepping out into a world that looks wildly different than it did even just a few months ago. And if we're honest with ourselves, many of the issues we're facing have been brewing for a long time, but that won't make them any easier to face now. We're struggling with climate change and pollution. We're discovering that we need to re-examine race in a way that hasn't been done in half a century. And we're still wrestling with the most disruptive pandemic in the last 100 years. There are 400 graduates, either in this room or watching, or nearly 400, in the class of 2020. And that means nearly 400 different paths that each of you will take. Regardless of what your future holds, the people, the community with which you surround yourself will shape and impact you in ways that are absolutely impossible to overestimate. So choose your community wisely. Surround yourself with people who challenge you, but who still love you unconditionally. Seek out people whose beliefs are different from your own and strive to see their entire humanity, hoping that they will strive to see yours as well. When someone trusts you enough to share their story with you, listen with everything you have so you can understand who they are and have the courage to share your own story with integrity so that others can understand you as well. For two years at North, we've talked about dignity, about the inherent worth we all possess. Never forget that everyone you meet has dignity, but more importantly, never forget that you do too. And that it's impossible to violate someone else's dignity without violating your own. Being kind to other people is literally being kind to yourself. The good news is no graduating class from a public school has collectively attended as few total days as the class of 2020. So in a way you're winning. Yet I'm not sure that any class has ever learned as much as you have. You've learned something about who you are, you've learned something about both what your priorities are and what they should be, and you've learned, I hope, the role that people in our lives play in making us human. You've learned something about what Ubuntu means. And while, like I said, the challenges you face are unprecedented, I see you standing together, in this case sitting together, as a community, learning again from one another how to be human. I saw you talking with each other before this started, and it was wonderful. And that gives me great hope. I don't believe I've ever stood in front of a group of students of whom I am more fond or of whom I am more proud. Thank you, Class of 2020, for the privilege of being a part of your story. Thank you.
So you may see some people beginning to move into to place here. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Uh, all of you in the stands, all of you online, all of you down on the floor. Here in just a moment, we're going to start saying names and you're going to start receiving your diploma covers. Don't tell anybody, but I already know you got your diplomas earlier this month. Um, I did want to make a few quick logistical notes. Um, as, you're walk, as you come up and walk across the stage, please do be sure to maintain social distance. However, I also know that this is an important moment, a big moment. And so those of you who are comfortable doing so, whose families are comfortable with your doing so, if you choose to remove your mask to, for a part of this process and so that you can have your picture taken down here without a mask, that is absolutely okay. And again, do you. This is, this is a big deal. So ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Greer has been practicing these names over and over and over again for the last two weeks, and we are all sick of it. <laughs> Hopefully she gets them all right. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to receive your diplomas. Salam Talal Abu Clay. Ellen Patricia Adams. Colin Ray Atkins. Emily Marie Alsawad. <laughs> Joseph Benjamin Albers Price. <laughs> Thorn Stephen Allen. Haley Marie Allison. <laughs> Suhas Sai Andavalu, summa cum laude. Sarah Arnold, cum laude. Zachary Michael Askew. Derek James Baker. Grace Bales. Jaden Elise Bales. Zane Gabriel Baldier, summa cum laude. Jesus Angel Barcenas. Nadia Ibrahim Barda. Lori Basta, magna cum laude. Lauren Bauer. Caleb Douglas Beach. Chase Ryan Beach. <laughs> Hannah Ray Berger, magna cum laude. <laughs> Tyrone Cortland Berry. <laughs> 
Enoch Nathaniel Berthold. Julie Nicole Bess. Alyssa Bickford. Isabel Marie Byra, cum laude. Nicholas Anthony Black, summa cum laude. Angelina Joy Blackwell, cum laude. Nicholas Alexander Blodgett, magna cum laude. Della Nicole Bennett, summa cum laude. Donovan Michael Bone. Grace Elizabeth Bowman. Justin Bowman. Matthew Joe Boyce. Ethan John Boyd. Ashlyn Tyler Bozich. Adeline Renee Bradbury. William Charles Bradford. James D. Breeze. Autumn Marie Bringle. Ashley Brink. Sabrina Lee Broadway, summa cum laude. Olin William Brooks. Logan Edward David Browers. Jenna Brown, magna cum laude. Chelsea Shania Lene Bryant. Benjamin Connor Burbank. Amelia Marie Burton, cum laude. Emma Lynn Budigir, magna cum laude. Keanu Jordan Cabrera, cum laude. Brian Joseph Cannon. Anthony Cardoni. Sophie Victoria Kurit, magna cum laude. Kelsey Michaela Carnes. Grace Catlin, cum laude. Ryan Caution Huber. Allison Cavado, magna cum laude. Sumi Chen, magna, summa cum laude. Madeline Lexi Koffel. Grant Michael Cole.
Elizabeth Rose Cox, cum laude. Kaylee Brianna Cripps. Kyle Stephen Crow. Mia M. Cunningham. Miranda Sasha Daniels. Cole David Daniger. Alexis Davis. Deja Denise Davis. Ellen Leslie Davis, summa cum laude. Hannah Nicole Davis. Jesus Enrique de la Paz. Mario Lissandro de la Paz. Luke Christopher Dembski. Maria Annabella DeSalvo. Ashley Lillian Deal. Joanna Margaret Dorman, summa cum laude. Jackson Donato, cum laude. Clayton Edward Donovan. Heather Marie Dorlack. Andrew John Derman, summa cum laude. Dylan Peter Eastman. James William Iceman. Abraham Dean Ellis. Dylan Patrick Ellis. Elijah Shane Ellis. You might be next on The Price is Right. Victor Andres Escobar. Olivia Fapel. Luke Jacob Feldman. Aaron Mary Fleming. Jalen Anthony Keevan Fleming. Kyle William Foster. Elena Furch, summa cum laude. Brendan Thomas Gannon, summa cum laude. Caleb Isaiah Gelvin, summa cum laude. Kaylin Gibson. Ken Eustace Gethui. Tyler David Godfrey Lewis. Cameron Marie Gonzalez, 
magna cum laude. Francisco Gonzalez Alvarez. Jordan Elizabeth Rose Graneman. Haley Lynn Green. Jayla Gresham. Spencer Ryan Griffin. Kyrie Ahmad Guest. Sydney Hackney. Anna Rose Hackstadt, summa cum laude. Aaron Patrick Hayslip. Jade Marie Hake. Brett Taylor Hammond. Wesley Philip Harden II, summa cum laude. Alexander Harris. Ian Hart. Amanda Nicole Hassenbeck. Isaac Heckman. Caleb Timothy Helmick. Courtney Ann Helmick, summa cum laude. Kaya Lynn Henderson. Alexis Nicole Hessel. Max Alexander Hessel. Adele Lee Higgins, cum laude. Lillian Jean Hoard. Ian Michael Hodge, summa cum laude. Nathan Patrick Hoekstra. Adam Hogan. Julie Elizabeth Hohensey, magna cum laude. Chase Lee Holder. Joseph Nicholas Holloway. Emily Renee Hood, summa cum laude. Haley Marie Jose. Cody Kao Ming Houghton. Grace Ann Humphreys. Charlie Rebecca Hurd. Nolan Scott Hudson.
Thomas Matthew Jameson, summa cum laude. Mariah Ann Jefferson. Haley Marie Jenkins. Michaela Leanne Jennings. Ronald Theophilus Joel, magna cum laude. Abigail Christine Johnson. Logan Wyatt Johnson. Montana Sky Johnson. Trent Michael Johnson, cum laude. Charles Duncan Jones. Sterling Chance Jones. Matthew Stephen Julien, summa cum laude. Emily Lynn Just. Lily Ann Karras, summa cum laude. Faith Noel Casper. Alexandria Marie Keller, cum laude. Isaac Thomas Kelly. Samantha Key, summa cum laude. Jeremy Ryan Keel. Kyle Patrick King. Patrick Michael Kester. Zachary Michael Kester. Brooke Elizabeth Colaith. Abigail Nicole Court. Jacob Algo, Algo Cossier, cum laude. Colin Kaberski. Connor Dale Kuhlman, magna cum laude. Kyle Stephen Kuhlman. Hunter Nicole Labarge, magna cum laude. Brianna Grace Lamb. Adam John Lang. Savannah Nicole Lair. Addison May Lee. Erica Alejandra Leon Ornelas. Angelica Lewis. Cameron Lewis.
Maria Christina Lindquist, summa cum laude. Grace Marie Lindstrom, cum laude. Nathan Loafman, magna cum laude. Leslie Bernal Lovato. Blaine Spencer Longmore. Jonathan Alexander Lopez. Victor Manuel Lopez. Haley Lauren Love. Tanner Lukic. Trey Lukic. Noel Elizabeth Lyons. Evan William Mogg. Emily McMahon. Kyle Thomas Majeski. Isabella Grace Manthe, magna cum laude. Kishara Marie Marion. Jonah Brennan Markham. Austin Marquart. Curtis Patrick Marshall. Kaylee Amber Martin. Trace William Martin. Seth Stephen Matthews. Paris McCarvey Harrison. Mary Michelle Rose McCullough. Mia Britt McDermott. Anthony Monte McDonald, Jr. Tyler Joseph McKay. Tyler David McLaughlin. Margaret Lee McNevin. Jeremiah James Meter Boland. Brianna Michelle Mites. Kevin Micah Meinhart Meyer. Cameron Gerard Minter. Jada Lene Moody. Paige Mooney.
Jacob Henry Moore. Shane David Mui. Juliana Morales. Logan Alexander Mordvar. Jennifer Murillo Alvarado. Connor Patrick Murray, cum laude. Kira Murrell. Tyler Cole Myers, magna cum laude. Daniela Negrete. Gabriella Negrete. Rajat Nepal, summa cum laude. Riley Renee New Neighbor. Heavenly Teresa Nichols. Connor Michael Noah. Jennifer Luis Noel. Hannah Elizabeth Aggie Okello. Clinton Guy Okolitsongo. Alexis Uriel Ortiz, summa cum laude. Benjamin Isaac Oster. Emma Francis Osterlow. Chloe Elizabeth Owens. Jenna Pei, summa cum laude. Oliver Maxwell Palmer, cum laude. Jessica Lynn Papka, summa cum laude. Lindsay Carol Papka, summa cum laude. Tane Parwal, summa cum laude. Akruthi Pashuparthi, cum laude. Hari Babesh Patel. Scott Stephen Pauley. Blaze Nicholas Tayari Peebles, magna cum laude. Connor Rise Peeper, summa cum laude. Courtney Elaine Peeper, summa cum laude. Grace Elizabeth Percy. Jenna Perry. David Fan. Andrew Jacob Plosky, cum laude. Khalil Rashid Poole. Yeah. 
Carter Allen Powell. Amelia Primu, cum laude. Louis Primo. Phoebe Primo, magna cum laude. Jacob McClaid Privet. Rhett Anthony Pruitt, cum laude. Connor Pryor, summa cum laude. Maria Colbani. Emma Ann Quinn, magna cum laude. Carson Robert Ramirez, summa cum laude. Carson Jack Rathbun. Andrew Stewart Reese, summa cum laude. Wesley Lee Regnold. Haven Annalise Victoria Rice. Regan Roxanne Richards. Braden Christopher Riggs, magna cum laude. Nicole Nadine Rink, summa cum laude. Joseph Michael Robbers. Grace Roberts. Olivia Roberts. Derek Marcus Robinson. Joshua Delano Ronell Robinson. Michael Jean Recker. Zylena Nicole Rogers. Luke Daniel Rolfing. Ruben Rojas. Rocio Romero. Luis A. Rosso Martinez. Plum Russo. Madison Rowe. Bryce Ruiz. Jessica Ashraf Saeed. Caleb M. Sanders. Josie Price Santel, summa cum laude. Kylie Meek Schaefer. (laughs) 
William James Shellman, summa cum laude. Ella Audeen Shindahedi, cum laude. Ava Paige Schindler. Adria Schmidt, magna cum laude. Molly Scott, summa cum laude. Harshitha Segabandi, summa cum laude. Lauren Shah, cum laude. Grace Sikendik, summa cum laude. Candice Lee Seam, summa cum laude. Kenneth Edwin Simpson. Lillian Olivia Simpson. Austin Charles Skeen. Aaron Joseph Smith. Ian Donald Smith. Kyle P. Smith. Leanne Michelle Smith, summa cum laude. Dylan Thomas Soar. Danielle Summer, magna cum laude. Emily Ann Statzer, summa cum laude. Clayton John Stillman. James Alexander Strubel, summa cum laude. Lashandra C. Suggs. Thomas Summers. Samantha Rose Swengross. Jordan Kenneth Tabor. Emma Lee Temper. Zachary Ronald Tusher. Jerry Robert Thomas. Ethan Christopher Thompson. Jenna Michelle Thompson. Miles Andrew Thornhill. Harley Ann Torpea. Brittany Catherine Tran, magna cum laude. Kung Tat Tran. Natalie Turner.
Nathan Turner. Uma V. Upamaka, summa cum laude. Akila Upalapati, summa cum laude. Layla M. Fakil, summa cum laude. Jeremy David Van Velkenberg. Paige Carolyn Vanek, summa cum laude. Najla Marab Vargas. Caitlin Darnay Werner. Kylie Ann Villadalid. Andrew Miithe Huawei. Alyssa Walkie Wolf. Maria Noel Walls. Tabitha Paige Walsh. Silvana Wang, summa cum laude. Cole Matthew Ward. Abby Lane Waring. Tristan William Weimer. Brady Anderson West. Joseph Richard West. Jackson Latree White. Drake Cole Mitchell Whitehead. Lyric Nari Williams. Montrell Dion Williams. Nicole Jean Weinman. Quinton Trey Winkler, magna cum laude. Riley Nicole Witherby, cum laude. Brendan Witt. David Anthony Woeful. Alexander Gary Wood, magna cum laude. Dalton Arthur Wood, summa cum laude. Courtney Wartman, cum laude. Joshua Albion Wright, summa cum laude. Ning King Yi, summa cum laude. Christopher Yance. Dre Calvin Young. Hadil Fuad Zaire. Adam Jacob Zeisler. 
Lydia J. Zelko. Nicholas Richard Zendren. Caitlin Rose Zirenberg, magna cum laude. Michael Christopher Zoll. Zachary Allen Zilka. Earlier I mentioned that, uh, that I experienced a lot of emotions that we've as we've moved through this pandemic, and if I'm totally honest, one of the emotions I experienced as we led into this day was some fear. Um, but there is, one of my very favorite Bible verses is that perfect love drives out all fear. And just a minute ago I felt some real love here, so thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, I need to sort of give some, some, uh, a prelude on this, this next bit. We have um, our class president, Salam, many of whom, or of whom many of you know. Uh, she's going to give our final address here. Now at the end, you've got to kind of keep your wits about you. First of all, I need to make, you need to make sure, just feel where your tassel is. Make sure that your tassel is on the right side, your right. So if it's not on the right, you're doing it wrong. You see how that works. So you need to have that tassel on the right side, and here in just a minute, Salam, here at the end of her dress, address, will ask you to stand and then turn your, tass turn your tassels. So you need to keep your wits about you, because you know, it's one of those moments, usually the president gets to do that and sort of see how people react and sort of adapt on that, but that's just not how it works today. So keep your wits about you, and ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, uh, Salam Talal Abu Khleh. Congratulations, class of 2020. I know what you're thinking right now. We finally made it. It's been a long and short ride. When people say that high school goes by fast, they're not lying. You blink once and there it is. High school's over. I know you might feel nervous and anxious right now, but those emotions are totally okay to feel. Senior year as a whole teaches students like me and you an experience of a lifetime. Even though our senior year was cut short, I can proudly say I have matured as a person. This year has taught all of us to be grateful no matter what the situation is. We might have not gotten our ideal senior year that we all dreamt about, but moving forward, we're all leaving as graduates. Some of us have our futures planned and set. Some of us are undecided, and some of us are scared. All of those emotions are okay to feel. For some of you, you've been over high school for a while. Trust me, I know what you mean. There are days where we wish high school would just be over with. But now that it is over with, it feels as if with a blink of an eye, there it is. High school's done. The diploma you received today is a symbol of all your hard work and you should all be proud of yourself. You have taken all the experiences high school has given you and let it shape you into the young adult you are today. We can all thank our parents and staff for being there for us. 
Our staff puts in admirable work every day to make sure our students succeed. Our teachers work incredibly hard to make sure we are taught something new every day. Statistics show that your high school diploma is your passport to higher earning. When freshman and sophomore year rolled around, it felt like high school was going to take forever to end. A lot of people tell you that your junior year is your hardest year of high school. For some of us, that's the case. But for most of us, it's the year where we learn the most personal growth. I don't want anyone to look back on their senior year with regret. Even though there were stressful times, you got over it. You are now a graduate. The times that felt the most draining were the times where you learned how to handle situations for the real world. Even though you feel like you are getting older, that does not mean you can't be a kid at heart. The situation you are in currently does not define who you are. The way you react to it defines who you are. Our chosen class motto is, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. That quote perfectly represents our year currently, a positive outlook on life and our beautiful smiles today. Senior class of 2020, please rise and proceed to move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations class of 2020. Here in just a moment, you're all going to be dismissed right after you throw your hats. But, uh, 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 seniors, you're gonna be, no, pardon me, you're no longer seniors, graduates. You're gonna be headed out those back two entrances. Uh, those of you in the stands, please wait for uh, the arena personnel to dismiss you so that we can move out smoothly. Seniors, you ready to throw those hats? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations. for your patience during this uh, exit. At this time, after graduates, exit the floor if sections 121, 122, 101, and 101.